Good morning and welcome to week two of the Shift Your Mindset Month. We will reiterate some of the themes we were speaking about last week. The goal of strengthening our grasp of what we have already covered. But this week is going to be particularly impactful as long as I do the work and you do the work. <laughs> there is there is no work that I can do for you. There's no work you can do for me. I was thinking about this ordinary quote that is that you hear people say that you can take a man out of the village, but you can't take the village out of a man. I think the version that I want to embrace is that you can take a man out of the village or a woman out of the village, but only the man or woman can take the village out of them. It's my role to continue taking the village out. <laughs> continue taking your own village out. Today, we continue to reiterate some of what we have already spoken about. Let's go back to the foundational precept for this season, intentionality. Intentionality gives me the power to embody the identity God designed for me. Intentionality gives me the power to embody the identity God designed for me. It gives me, gives me the power, the power to embody, the power to embody the identity. Intentionality. I want us to look at another aspect of intentionality. When you think about intentionality, the reason why intentionality is several grades above mere intentions is because intentions do not point the direction. Intentions point the desire, not necessarily the direction that you need to go. It is not, it is not intentionality unless it has directionality attached to it. If you tell me your intention, I will know that, oh, you want to, you want to earn an extra qualification, maybe it's a degree or to start a business or it, it doesn't tell me anything, anything that I can really characterize, but directionality, I can take away the goal and just focus on what is the direction, what are, what are the steps. And this is important to think about because when we say, for example, this month it's about mind shift, which is essentially identity shift. What is the direction of shift? Sometimes we shift, but we shift backwards. It's, that's also a shift. <laughs> when you backslide, you are shifting. <laughs> but you're shifting back to something that you should already have left behind. Intentionality, we pursue an identity shift with intentionality, which means we shift in the direction of what we want. And that requires that that direction has to be clear. With regards to the, our foundational precept, the intentionality is very clear. Intentionality gives us the power to embody an elevated identity. In other words, intentionality gives us the resources we need to bridge the me now with the next me. You see that that statement has two me's. It gives me, this present me, the power to begin to transform, to shift towards the me that is higher, that is elevated, that is where I want to go. If it's a shift, and it's a shift that does not have directionality to it, it is not powered by intentionality. It might just be powered by mere wishes, mere desires, mere hopes. I hope I win. I hope my business grows. I hope they choose me. I hope when I show up in the field and play, even if I haven't practiced, I win. And this is when, for example, the one example that easily comes to my mind is if I have two students who are going to sit for exams, I just need to know, have you prepared? If you haven't prepared, I wish you good luck. If you have prepared, I wish you success. Somebody needs to mute their mic and James, I have made you a co-host. And Eunice too, I've made you a co-host. 
and Gladys have made you a co-host. You need good luck if you haven't prepared. You need success if you are prepared. <laughs> If you show up for running a marathon, it is 42 kilometers. You haven't prepared for the marathon. It's, I don't know where the good luck is going to help you. I wish you good luck not to faint as you run the first three kilometers before you give up because you're not ready for it. You shouldn't even be in that field trying to run a marathon that you haven't prepared for. But if you have prepared, I wish you success. What is the success? To reproduce what you have been doing before to run the same way that you have been doing before. Intentionality empowers you, it empowers us to move in a direction that is clearly defined so that we, we are not fluking it, we are not hoping, we are not merely desiring, we are not merely visualizing, we are giving it physical form. I want to be a writer. What is the direction? Write every day. I want to build my to increase my sales volume what is the direction i will call my customers every day i want to begin to start a new organization what is the direction i will speak to one potential partner every day i want to learn a skill what's the direction i will do 10 repetitions of the skill every day i want to become a speaker what's the direction i will record myself on audio or video and review every single day, even if it's just for two minutes, even if for one minute, if I record one minute and then listen to it and review it, the next time I, I redo it, I will be at a better place. Direction, when there is direction, it's, it's I, guess, I guess the overall thing to think about is that destination is not determined by intention. Destination is determined by direction. The destination you get to it doesn't matter how good your intentions are. If you want, your intention is to get to Mombasa and then you get into a bus that is headed to Kisumu. Or if you're driving, you, you are securely on Waiyaki Way, headed to Zambezi and Gitaru and, and Nakuru. It's you, you, your direction will determine the destination. Now, you can, you can increase the speed. You can be very focused on the road, very, very disciplined. You're not being distracted. But if, you're, if your direction is not correct, you're still going to end up in the wrong destination. Intentionality demands that we clarify the destination, but that the, then we take care of what is in between. There is no point at which we hope. At each step along the way, we, we are, it doesn't mean we are not hopeful. <laughs> it's, we are hopeful, but we are also actionful. We are intentionful. Intentionality gives you the power to embody the identity God designed for you. What is the shift you need this week in, at the level of your identity? To what extent can you make practical this shift we were speaking about last week? How can, how can, this, week can, be, how can this week be the first time that you can truly say that I pushed myself. I met the intention. My destination was that by the end of the week, I would notice a distinct shift in how I thought as a leader, as a role model, and as a problem solver. So that we, power, we use the power of intentionality this week to go to a specific destination. What is the destination? An obvious perception of identity shift internally other people don't have to notice it but that by the end of the week it was clear to me that i was beginning to feel like to act like to show up like a leader like a role model like a problem solver so what's the direction it is to feel by the end of this week to have acted to the extent possible with as much consistency as possible Viewing, acting, showing up, carrying yourself, speaking like, listening like a leader, a role model, a problem solver. What will it take for me to do that on a consistent basis this week? 
Because if I can do it this week, it will allow me to consolidate everything that I learned this last week. It will give me an opportunity to build on. To, I am literally building a four-week wall so that whatever I do this week, it builds up on what we did last week. If we take away any single thing, the entire mind shift month, and it's only one thing, it is this one. Identity shift, shifting such that behavior becomes automatic. Shifting such that certain environments, when they show up, you are out because you have already shifted. You have shifted in such a way that the plug you used to have, which fit into this environment, no longer fits. When gossip comes up and it's in the middle of you doing a project, you are out, you find another room or you, you excuse yourself. Sorry, I can't, I have to finish something else. I can't get involved in that conversation. Or if I'm getting involved in this conversation, these are, this is what I would, this is how I would prefer for us to do it. Or we have a shared project. You have your part. I have my part. Let's meet in three hours. When we meet in three hours, I have done my part. Have you done your part? Or you haven't done your part? When else would you want to meet when you have done your part? So that you don't waste my time trying to do your part and have more work to do the other side. Can you make, can you challenge yourself this week to make an intentional identity shift? Because if you do, truly, truly intentionality will begin to give you the power to embody an elevated identity. It can be the beginning of a real shift, a tangible shift that you can say, that was, I drew a line. And this has been the week when my elevated identity has been that of a leader, of a role model, of a problem solver. A former problem describer turned problem solver. Are you willing to commit to making an intentional identity shift? If you want to shift, if you really are willing to shift, I want to see it in the chat box. I'm willing to shift. I am willing to shift. Are you willing to shift? I don't want you to just type it out. You have to say it. You type it and you say it. Are you willing to shift? Are you willing to shift? Gladys, I am determined to shift. Eunice, I am willing to shift. Faith, I am willing to shift. Mugwe, I am willing to shift in capital letters. Dr. Lydia, I'm willing to shift my identity. I love that you added my identity there. I'm going to wait for a couple more. If we don't, then we'll continue the rest. Sylvia, I am willing to shift. Jacqueline, I am willing to shift. We are making the commitment to give it the best attempt to create an intentional identity shift. To truly, this week, to just resolve, this is Monday, this week is fresh. Whatever happened last week is gone. This is a new week. I can act differently this week. I can shift everything this week. It's within my power to decide how I'm going to show up this week. Frida, I am willing to shift my identity. Jacqueline, I am willing to shift. I hope you are saying it as you write it. That's, I'm reading it out aloud because that completes that whole loop. You have typed it, but you have to hear it. Shalene, I am definitely willing to shift my identity. All right, you just crowned it for us. I am definitely willing to shift my identity. I feel that one. <laughs> I feel it. I feel all the rest. Don't feel bad that I didn't feel yours. I feel all of them. But here, this one from Shalene. I am definitely, let me actually say it definitely. I am definitely, I don't know whether you, whether you feel it. <laughs> Shiro, I'm willing to shift my identity. I'm willing to shift, yeah. I am willing to shift my identity, says Beth. Isabel, I'm willing to shift my identity this week. All right. That crowns that section for us. It's That is the daily reset for today. That's, that's it. That's the daily reset for today. Setting the tone for this week, making this week block number two. So that you are not starting from scratch this week. 
to resolve that this week is building up on what you have already done. Resolving that this week is contributing to the breakthrough you have been seeking over the last two months and now this is climax month. By the end of this month, you walk out of this month with something shifted so, so radically. People, <laughs> what you are about to attempt, if you give it your all, is going to blow your mind away. I wish I was talking to you from a theoretical standpoint. I'm not. And I can't describe to you it's the full extent of, of what I'm what I'm pointing you towards, the directionality I am pointing you towards. That you are elevating, it's no longer, it's no longer just intention. When you do your daily reset, that intention line, my intention is to, and you will realize that it's framed very differently. It's no longer just an intention. It is you are literally you are literally igniting something, and of course you can only ignite to the extent that you actually hold the key and act and ignite. This morning is your opportunity to ignite, ignite, and then keep this week blazing. And let's see what happens by the end of the week. Something magical awaits you this month, the rest of this month. But that's if you are. If you are ready for it, John Maxwell says nothing is interesting for the uninterested. If you are uninterested, it won't work for you. But if you are keen, you are determined, if you have an intention to show up here, such that you're not jumping out of bed within one minute and then you are in here, but you actually take at least another 10 minutes before you log in and you are ready this month, the remaining part of this month is going to blow away something, get something amazing we are creating an intentional identity shift taking intentionality converting it to directionality and embracing intentionally embracing a new role to act this week regardless of what the environment shows you to act as a leader as a role model as a problem solver and if you need to resign again from problem description you resign afresh. So it's time for you to do your daily reset based on what we have already covered. Do your daily reset really quickly and get ready to share. Get ready to share your key takeaway from the first part. What's the key takeaway from the first part? And one line, let's see the intention line. Today it is my intention to What's your intention? You might even want to make it this week. It's your intention too. What's your intention for the week? Ensure every time you write, when you're doing the, your daily research, that you don't just write them. You speak them out aloud to yourself. And you don't just read them up, up blankly. You read them with uh, some emotion. Okay, please go ahead and uh, share your key takeaway. Key takeaway and your and your intention line. Then once we, are, we once you're ready, I'm going to. Uh, there's a question in here that I would like you to, to utilize to tackle. This is from. My latest book, Embody, Shift Your Mindset in Just 30 Days. Anyone that does this book, that goes, that works through all the questions in this book and has not experienced an, like, an ultimate mindset shift, I, I will be happy to refund them the money and and uh, and maybe you know pay them for the time that they used it if they actually walked through the entire book i'll just pay you just tell me how many hours you did i'll pay you back then i will apologize and i will go sell it to somebody else <laughs> all right let's see please give us your in your 
your reflections. Let's go, please go ahead, go ahead and uh, share your reflection so that we can be done with this part. I say Gladys, today it's my intention to celebrate my mind shift. I love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Celebration means you have presumed it to the point of the faith that it's maybe you already are already shifting, you're already seeing the shift, or you know with the depth of your being that it's a happening. So you might as well start celebrating it. You know, it would be weird for for a student to celebrate their graduation <laughs> when they are not doing the assignment, they are not showing up for class. But if you are showing up for class, you are committed, you can actually celebrate your graduation. Could we please have some chair, more, more people sharing? I will read the next one in at the count of three. If I don't have any additional ones, we will move on. I'm willing to shift my identity. That's that's Florence. The Florence today. My intention is to excel. Do we see some takeaways? Some takeaways. At the count of three, two, one. Okay, somebody caught in James. <laughs> I was going to move. <laughs> James, intentionality involves a clear sense of direction. I am determined. I determine what I want and then determine what it is that I must do. That's a beautiful way to summarize it. That is a beautiful way to summarize it. So, so far, I've only seen two take away is from the first part intentionality is equal to directionality thank you gladys intentionality is equal to directionality and that is what differentiates intentionality from just mere good intentions intentionality carries the inbuilt directionality in it sylvia it does matter my direction success is impossible if i'm backing up the wrong tree absolutely absolutely and Sylvia says, today, it's my intention to work eight hours. That puts you in less than 2% of the population across the world that is going to be working today. <laughs> it's, it's not the number of hours you are assigned. It's the number of hours you get out of the time that you are assigned. Eunice says, Eunice K says, the destination comes from direction, not just intention. Absolutely. Absolutely. There is, there is, there is no couple that does a wedding with the intention that they will get divorced. But the actions that happen in the marriage lead to divorce, such that the direction that they are on trumps the intention of getting married. Nobody, nobody starts a business with the intention that the business is going to fail. But the actions being taken, if you're not calling your customers, if your customers are not be, you're not following up or you are not making sure the product is high quality, that's a direction. And that direction leads to an outcome. No student signs up for a degree and they're like, I want to make sure I fail this degree. The intention is to graduate, but not showing up for, for class is a direction. Not doing assignment is a direction. And that direction leads to failure. No farmer goes to the chamber and plants their maize and they're like, I wish, I hope, my intention is for this maize to not do well. But if they don't palilia, which is to, uh, I don't have the equivalent, if they don't dig the ground around the maize plants, <laughs> if they don't remove the weeds, that's a direction. So the direction trumps everything else. You set the intention, that's fine. Make, take the intention from intention to intentionality. Give it direction. What is direction? The daily series of actions. Eunice K, we've read yours. Florence, intentionality is the roadmap I want to follow. Absolutely. Beth says, intentionality empowers us to move to the right direction. If you're going to Mombasa, it doesn't matter how much you accelerate if your vehicle is facing Nakuru. <laughs> going faster will just get you to the wrong place quicker. <laughs> it doesn't change the outcome for you. Frida says, my focus and speed has to be toward the right direction, 
least I get to the wrong de destination. That's exactly what I was saying. And I would add, least I get to the wrong destination quicker. <laughs> you wanted to go to Mombasa, but at least you got to Nakuru in two hours. So that's not so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jacqueline, my intention is to embrace my mind shift and act on it. Faith, intentionality requires direction. It needs to show where I am going. You can test intentionality any moment during the day and say, what's my destination? To act like a leader today, to act like a role model. What am I doing? If you are uh, scrolling through social media videos, that's the direction. You can tell that you, you are not, <laughs> you're not on track. <laughs> Isabel, today is my intention to give direction to my intention. Okay. <laughs> That is something that James could have written. <laughs> Thank you, Isabel. I, that's, I like the play with words. Today, it's my intention to give direction to my intention. Because when you give direction to your intention, you make it directional. So that becomes directionality so that you can measure at any time. Thank you for making us laugh. Shiro, intentionality and directionality must both be clear to realize my vision. I love it. That's very, that's poignant. I like, I like how you put them together. Unis M, intentionality with directionality gives success. Thank you, Jacqueline. Intentionality is the bridge. That's a beautiful one. Intentionality is the bridge between me and the new me. Yeah, I, I really like it. Thank you. Beth, that and it's Betty. My actions are what leads me to certain to a certain direction, either toward my goal or away. Thank you for sharing your takeaways from that first part. I don't think everybody has shared, but we will keep moving. Uh, so you, your next task, I would like you to do these components on your own once we are done. I would like you to do these components to run the tapes run the tapes of last week if you didn't finish running the tapes of march run the tapes of march this this slides i need to to have a master slide deck so that it doesn't keep showing in january here so run the tapes of march run the tapes if you didn't if you have finished running most of the tapes in march run the tapes of last week how did last week play out why are you directing, mastering, and commanding your life? And how well did you wield your self-control? You will. You could start now, but you'll finish that once we we are done. And the other part that we'll do is creating your mindful day based on what we've spoken about: the intentional desire to shift towards. Uh, acting and showing up and behaving and thinking and speaking like a leader role model and problem solver U using that lens and the idea of intentionality as directionality create your mindful day after we are done with the uh, segment now it's your time to to do your declaration it's time you do your declaration of intentionality as usual i just read it at my own pace you read it on your own pace make sure you actually you're not just verbalizing it you are producing it and you don't have to wait for me just go ahead and and feel that room you are in with it in the past i felt powerless i allowed external forces and limiting beliefs to hold me back yet today i am seizing back my power today i'm determined to direct my intention to master my focus and take command of my action I'm determined to shape my reality with purpose. I am willing 
to carry myself as a leader, role model, and problem solver in all situations. I hope you notice uh, that we've, we've had this with us for several weeks now. I hope you notice the second paragraph, the second line. Today, I am determined to direct my intentions. What does direct your intentions mean? Means to give your intentions direction. And that's the connection between intentionality and directionality. You take your intentions, intentionality gives you the power. You take the power and put it in directionality so that then you don't get fuel and put it in your vehicle and then you accelerate towards Mombasa when you want to go to Nakuru or the other way. So that you have the power, but if the power is not directed in the right direction, your intentionality becomes distractionality and frustrationality and confusionality. <laughs> we have so many words we need to send to the Oxford Dictionary for them to add. <laughs> All right. And so I would like you to look at this role today with a different mindset. That word director, it's, it's probably, it's of all the titles I've ever studied, that word director is so loaded that just look at the word director and eliminate the first two letters, what remains? If you remove the first two letters, you remain with rector. What, what does rector mean? Rector is the head of some educational, some institution. The rector is like the, the minister or... When you are the director, now take just the first the first eliminate the last words it's just the that's one of the most fascinating words i've ever studied so this week you are the director of your intentions and it's your job it's your job to guide your life with a clear purpose to act like a leader a role model and a problem solver Agreement of the week is do not take anything personally. Do not take anything personally. If you find yourself offended, you are taking something personally. If you have the book, the question is short, you may not necessarily need the to have itself, but I want to read just two paragraphs from chapter one of uh, Embody. Uh, shift your mindset in just 30 days. I will read the final, maybe the final two paragraphs of chapter one, and then we will tackle the question. Final two paragraphs, so the from the Safari Twilight. Embrace intentionality and watch your life blossom into a heaven of clarity, courage, and unwavering confidence. As you begin this safari, this is the first chapter, and that's why the, the book has that kind of language. As you begin this safari, remember that intentionality is not a destination. It is the path, but not the path of least resistance. It is the way but not the easy way out. It is a continuous journey of growth leading to profound self-transformation. Set the intention to learn about intentionality during this 30-day safari. Let intentionality illuminate your path to your next level. The final paragraph 
This chapter calls you to reflect on what intentionality means to you. It presents profound truths that require you your considered reflection. Please don't rush through it. As you embark on the journey of intentional living, engage these truths deeply, integrating the practical steps you learn into your daily life. This quest can create unbelievable ripples of transformation for you. Hope onto the intentionality train. An exciting journey awaits you. I hope those of you who have the, the book, please make sure you actually read through uh, the rest of, of that paragraph and particularly also review the, the practical pointers from uh, page seven, how to make this book a roadmap for your transformation. To re read it with a purpose, reflect, to internalize, commit to action, revisit and review and engage with others. Just it, but it's a short segment, but it's extremely crucial, particularly for what we will be doing uh, during this week. But just read the rest of the chapter. The question I want us to look at is just the first question under the Safari inquiry. The first and the question under the Safari inquiry that I want us to write the question down for yourself. The question is, in which areas this is an uncomfortable question so you better be expected to come like that in which areas am i in which areas am i just going through the motions in which areas am i just going through the motions if you don't feel like you have an area you're going through the motions look at an area where you used to go through the motions the point is to see impact so in which areas am I just going through the motions? That's the first part of the, the question. The second part is how can I live on purpose? In which areas am I just going through the motions? And how can I live on purpose? So that's an additional question for you to think about as you set your day, the rest of your day. That is from chapter one of uh, Embody Shift Your Mindset. In which areas are you going through with the motions? So there, it has six more questions, which, which are absolutely mind, mind boggling. It's this chapter sets the tone for the rest of the 30 day journey in Embody, which is absolutely amazing. So I wish you a beautiful week full of intentionality. And of course, we will be here every single day the rest of this week. If something comes up that takes me away, I will let you all know in advance. My name is Dr. Job Mugire.